What is going on, my friends? Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. I hope everyone's having a very nice night for an evening. <laughs> I can't let it go, man. I, I just can't. I cannot let that saying go. It's going to stick with me forever now. Um, anyways, I believe this is episode 55. Um, last time we left off, we did Aveline's uh, personal quest. Which, well, hooked her up with uh, Guardsman Donic. The guard that we saved in Act 1, now her and Aveline are an item. We'll see how that goes. Um, let's look at the journal. I'm pretty sure all we have is... Okay, Herbalist Task, which is bull crap. Demands of the Kuhn. <sighs> Parts of me wants to go to the Gallows real quick, um, before we do the Demands of the Kuhn. Uh, wait, we're here. Let's... Um... I'm gonna put Aveline into the party here, okay? Let's get Meryl out, put Aveline in. Um, yeah, I like this party for this. Let's just turn this in and see where it goes. I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is, um... I believe I held off turning this in because events get pretty quick. After we turn this in, events start going pretty I quick. I don't really know. Warring with the Kunari would cause as much damage as this disaster. Hmm. Yeah, it's been so long since I even damn played this game. Okay, let's go turn this into what's his face. Anything in here? Oh, there is Isabella. Can we go steal the Seneschal shit? You happy now? Uh huh. Indeed. Okay, what's our inventory looking like? We haven't sold. Okay, we're... Yeah, we need to find a merchant. And sell. Okay. Let's look and see if there's anything going on here. What is our level, guys? Real quick. Uh, Sen is 18. He's about to level up again pretty soon. Um, hmm. I think I'm probably going to do Spirit Bolt. The cost is... Let's, let's see. The cost is 20 mana. Cooldown's 10 seconds. The cost is 20 mana, cooldown's 15 seconds. I want to do it because I want to keep playing strategically. As in, like, I don't want to str stay, stray away from friendly fire stuff. Because I really, like, want to... I don't know. I want to rain fucking firestorms down on people's bodies, but I can't because of firestorm. And Welcome Bomb is just my all-time favorite ability. And I could strategically use it, and which would make it funner for me. And plus... I said that I'll use Walking Bomb in Inquisition, but it's still uncertain what I'm going to be playing in Inquisition. I'll have to be a Necromancer to even use Walking Bomb. It's not in everyone's ability, which I probably will. <laughs> let's be real. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Years of Mr. Clean? Quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. An accident on purpose, more or less. Hmm. Right. A mad elf, pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. Well, he doesn't want to be here. There's a reason why he is here. That's blatantly obvious. Um, but it, let, let's let's just take a take a time for a second here before I push this dialogue. What happened was, if you guys don't remember, it's been it's been a while. We kind of broke this quest up because I didn't want to push the main story forward. But the Aeroshock laid a trap for the black powder stuff, um, and an elven woman got control of it. But it was nothing but a uh, a decoy, pretty much. It was just a toxic stuff, and it pretty much wiped the minds of the people that was. Uh, in the area of the stuff that that was being released, you know what I mean? It it was like a crazy gas, made people go crazy. You know, it didn't really it don't hurt Canari. Canari's immune, I believe that's what he was saying. But for us, yeah. So that's what the Aeroshock did, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I guess he's trying to bring out the Zealots, take care of them. That's one way of doing it, I guess. You could send him gold, and he'd complain it was heavy. <laughs> and it's about to get worse. Okay. A shame. There were overtures of civility. Your influence, no doubt. Do I want to hear what happened? A Konari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, 
but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing Ooh. almost literally from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? Um... Well, he's not going to be happy, for one, if he sent a delegate here. But then again, the Arishok is... He's crafty, man. He did it. He did it for a reason. I'm guessing he knew. He knows everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, if we left here and went to tell him, he would already know. He already knows. Do the Konari generally keep Skonari you updated? Konari smart, man. Konari do not disappear. They know we watch, and they are not shy about their movement. Speak to Seneschal Brown. He has details that show how damning this is. I don't know who would benefit from fighting okay. Konari, but it will Very cost cool. all of us. Um... Okay, uh... I kind of really honestly want to go and talk to the Arishok about it. Hey. I'm preparing for the worst. Yeah. The very worst. You probably should. This may require... Them gargoyles are gonna come to life as he calls them and uh, start killing people. <laughs> I can only imagine. You have information about the missing Kunari. I am to help you, <clears> yes. <throat> Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. You don't have to be so rude. Has anyone reported this to the Canari? Maker, no. I'd be signing the messenger's death warrant. He'll find out soon enough, of course. And when he does, the Viscount is rightly concerned that the illusion of peace will dissolve. Okay, so we definitely could have turned in the Viscount stuff. I, I, you know... We could have turned it in from the get-go and got that quest completely done. This is the one that's different. This is the one that pushes them forward. The Arishok is growing violent. He might want an excuse to end this peace. I suspect that if the Arishok wanted to take over, he simply would. Yeah. For all we fear that heretical cune of his, its demands have done more to keep him in check than any of our efforts. Besides, would Kunari stoop to trickery? There is no precedent. But there is unfortunate evidence of influence on our side. Really? Hmm. So all the secrets come out. It sounds like you don't want them found. I must think of what is best for the Viscount's office. Bringing attention to such an incident benefits no one. You would do nothing? The Kunari are neutral hostiles at best. There is no relationship to salvage by overextending ourselves on their behalf. <sighs> He's a shysty bastard, isn't he? Kind of like him a little bit, oddly. I don't know why. I'm having a hard time picturing the abduction of a Kunari entourage. Yeah, me too, Sam. Unfortunately, son. they were not at their best. Their swords were tied into their sheaths. As I advised. It seemed a respectful compromise. Even I know you cannot separate a Kunari from his weapon. <laughs> so where would you start? If you were the starting type. I would begin with the most obvious failure. It's clear the city guard has no excuse for allowing this. Unless they were involved. Have any failed to report? Several. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. The hanged man. <laughs> hanged man. Got to be. Got to be. <laughs> right. Then you know what All to right. look for. Time to go to the bar. This has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Please keep this quiet. The Viscount is under enough scrutiny as it is. Okay. Sounds good, bub. Um, I'm going to look at the map when we fast travel out of here. See if there's anything on along the way that we can turn in before we just go ahead and fast travel to the... Look at all this shit in the gallows. Meryl, mirror image. Oh, Lord. Uh, well, we are already on a main mission, so we are going to have to not do that one yet. Forbidden knowledge. Okay, I'm going to hop over to the gallows real quick. Uh, turn in all this shit here. See if there's even anybody that, that we can talk to here. Before we head over to the hangman. You have got to tell me what was in that box, Ravani. Which Ooh. box? I've opened so many. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, those two, but later. Right now, that Kunari relic. I'll make you a deal. I'll tell you what was in that box if you tell me how Bianca got her name. Fine. Forget I asked, evil woman. Wow. Bianca, huh? 
How did Bianca get her damn name? Okay, let's sell some of the stuff. Cold. Goodbye, fire. Goodbye, spirit. Goodbye, cold. Keep the physical. Oh, look at all these potions we got. <laughs> Runa impact, okay. Sell this junk, okay. We're looking good. Thrask? This isn't how it should be. Hey, Cullen. Make a guide, you hawk. Okay, we did already talk to Cullen. You should see these papers. Your Sir Ulrich was working on a plan to turn all mages tranquil. I will not ask how you came by the personal effects of a man recently murdered within our own walls. <laughs> it's true there has been some discussion of the idea, but as you can see, it has gone no further than that. The harrowing has served us well enough for centuries. It will be up to mages themselves whether they push us to more stringent measures. It sounds like you support... This. Kinda wish Anders was here. The tranquil ritual was created as a mercy so that mages need not be killed out of hand for a threat they might pose. There is an argument to be made for applying it more widely. But many mages have made it clear they view the ritual as no better than death. They want mm -hmm. no controls on them at all. Okay, well... Uh, I might bring Anders here sometime. Leaving. If that Make a watch over you. conversation will trigger so again, it dead. probably won't. Ulrich is dead, praise the maker. Yeah, he's eating fucking dirt. Check your purse. I think the eyes of Azure him. Jamas. How are you, bub? By the void, he says. Okay, Solidivus over here. Let's go and uh, turn his stuff in. Mirror image for Meryl. I was wondering when Meryl's mission was going to come up. Come up, man. Thank you, so, my friend. Only one thing on the list left to find. Okay, which is a Vartaril something. Something about a Vartaril. The motherfuckers are extinct. Supposedly. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we go to the hangman, shall we? Okay, so we have Meryl's mission. God, I really want to do it. Because I love getting companion missions out of the way before I do main stuff. So herbalist task, which is the Vartaril something. But it's 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 like up here. But there's nothing... Oh, okay. Forbidden knowledge is here. We'll do that. Offer and lost. Um, we can't break up missions. Let's do this one. We'll do Meryl's mission next episode, or if this takes two episodes, I'm not sure how long this mission is. Hey, bub, what's going on? Well, you're throwing coins around like there's no tomorrow. That's right, woman. Tonight, woman. I'm paid and blessed, and all I had to do was turn my head. Hmm. To all my friends. Man, these, mother these people don't know you. <laughs> hey, step back. I know important people. We're going to show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. Um, Aveline. Guard captain, would you like to have a word with your man? Guard captain? Who? What? Who? Who what? I don't... Who bought you? Who bought the honor of a proud guard of Kirkwall and made him a drunken Mabari bitch? Ooh. I don't... I don't know. He was a Templar. I swear. He had the seal of the Grand Cleric and everything. It's true. Seal of the Grand Cleric. The penalty for abandoning your post is ten days on the wall. I expect you to report in the morning. Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> Aveline. You! There's your answer. A Templar. With the Grand Cleric seal, no less. Well done. Good job, Aveline. Um, well, I guess it's obvious we'll have to go to the, uh... Church? I'm putting it all together, guys. It's blatantly obvious who the freak it is, probably. We ran into a uh, Chantry mother in Act 1, remember? Her and her so stupid Templar and a Canary shit. Captain of the Guard to accuse the Grand Cleric of funding zealots. Hell yeah. 
Don't forget the kidnapped Kunari. That too. Some days, Hawk. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her... Three Kunari leave an estate. And let her finish. <laughs> Sarah Hawk. There she is. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Elfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? <sighs> this lady is... She looks like a drug addict for one. Look at Funny her. Funny how you and for issues God's with sakes. the Kunari seem to go <laughs> Did together. You see her? And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. Not taking I did not want side. you dead, but I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand. But you must admit, you came out the better for it. <sighs> I know you, and I know someone is abusing the Grand Cleric's seal. Who are you to question who serves her grace? I am sorry, but I see no reason to let you pass. How about the fact that her authority was used to abduct Kunari? A pause that says you knew. But does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. Naughty girl. <laughs> it sounds like you've been bad. This will shock her grace, no doubt. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown unreliable. Oh, it's probably her Templar. Him may do us all a favor. And his relation to you is? He is my former bodyguard, yeah, Sir Von El. that fucker. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sir <sighs> Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Need I say I'm skeptical? It's her game for the moment. For the moment. Um, I actually wanted to go talk to Ereshak. I think I should have done that before that. Let's talk to her. She got anything going on? Is something troubling you? Did you know someone used the authority of your name to instigate a crime against the Kunari? The path to righteousness is never as straight and narrow as we wish. Huh. I truly hoped this would not go so far. But do not trouble yourself. I will step in when it's time. I think you should see these papers. I feel like I should Sir have Ulrich. Anders here for all this. Where did you get these? He was murdered in the gallows not a few days ago. <laughs> what about his plan? <laughs> was it me? Sir Ulrich made a suggestion, yes. But we turned him down. But you don't condemn the practice outright. The right of tranquility has always been a last resort. It has saved lives, but it is not without its costs. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> Wasn't me! Sebastian did that shit. Sicko. <laughs> Sebastian's all lying to her, too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, I hope... I hope we didn't... So, how good is Donick? Ooh. Is he cocksure? Just... Get it out of your system. Did he... Curl your toes. Look at Pudding the your peach. Dampen your divine. Shank your jewelry. Praise your maker. How about satisfy a demand of your cure? <laughs> yes, all right. He's an incredibly proficient lover. Happy? Well, that's rather personal, don't you think? <laughs> Look at Varric. Like, what the fuck? You hear that? <laughs> okay, um... So this is Varnell's refuge, yeah. Let's go to the docks and talk to um the Arashak and let them know that this damn delegate's missing. We might still have time to do that. Okay, we're gonna have to get Isabel out because she doesn't come into the compound, obviously. Is he? Toodles. Let's bring in Fenris. 
Enter if you must. Hey guys, haven't seen these. <laughs> haven't seen these guys in a while. Okay, there was something up here, but we already got it. Okay, well, let's go talk to the Evershock. What do you want, Hawk? Ooh. I have no interest in adding to my distractions. And yet, you sent a delegate to the Viscount. A brief attempt to educate. If the dwarf had stolen the Sarkamek, it could have been used to show the price of greed. But you know the outcome of that. These fools are determined to be wrong. I won't waste the effort again. I'll probably regret this, but you should know your delegate is missing. Anyone else? And those words would have been their last. Yes, yeah, Elo. <laughs> you are handling this, not your buffoon of a Viscount. As best I can. Then I will wait. But know this. The provocations we have suffered have worked. If this is not resolved, I can fulfill my duty to the Kune with far less annoyance by sifting through rubble. As if there wasn't enough pressure. I'm playing a game here, guys. With the era shock. Like, okay, it's obvious he really... He knows. This guy knows everything. And I don't see a problem in telling him... Because obviously he doesn't want to deal with anyone in the whole city besides us. Do you see what he said? You're dealing with this and not your buffoon of a Viscount. So, maybe if we can ease our way into it, it will be less stressful to the city. Because these guys looking like they're about to pounce. <laughs> it's fucking, it's obvious, man. Let's see if we can talk to him once more. I am eager to see how you resolve this. I mean, there's nothing we can't do that he's going to not know. So, might as well come up. Maybe we can get an angle, an edge. I don't know. It's good to be friendly with such. They haven't done anything to us personally, but I mean, the gas stuff, of course, but. I mean, what can we do? Uh, what would you guys do if you were in their situation, though? You know? You're trying to weed out whatever they're trying to do, find conspirators on them. Okay, let's put Isabella back in. For this, parts of me wants to put Isabella. Do I want Varric? Two warriors and Isabella for this. Um, I'm gonna do that actually, yeah? I feel like that's a good idea. I have a two handed sword here. Oh, never mind, that's a Kunari sword. Okay, alright, well, I'm gonna save. And then let's head down to the secret alley or whatever the hell it is by Patrice. Varnell's Refuge. Oh lord. Offered and lost. Okay, can we actually leave here if we wanted to? No, we cannot. Okay, we're locked in. So, oh, I keep second guessing myself. A room full of armed zealots. Patrice is here somewhere. Yeah. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Okay, let's get Bo on board. Um, I feel like this fight is nasty. This mission. We got two tanks. Isabella. We should be okay. Um, let's run in with Is. In case there's any traps. Do not fear them. They die like any other. Oh, there's one. The stitch maker? Ooh, is he? Okay, well, there's obviously people in here. I'm actually going to make a hard save here, guys. I kind of want one. Um, let's get back to Sen. Everybody's on board. Okay. Um, let's prepare for this. Isabella. Crow. Okay. Fenris. Um. Okay, let's get everyone's stuff on. Uh, I'm gonna put a life ward on Hawk. And that's it. Once more, save. Okay. Like any beast, remove the fangs and it is lost. 
They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cune is death before the righteous. Ooh. What a sick bastard, man. Savonel. Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember Sarah Hawk? Look at her. <laughs> the Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? Uh... Go ahead, kill the Kunari. I'm not doing that. They're bound and they're, they're sitting up there like animals. Why would I want this Templar to just go ahead and slaughter them? Varnell and the others die. Uh, okay, so we either kill Kunari or... I'm not killing a Kunari. I, I just I can't bring myself to do it. So, Varnell's a zealot, pretty much. We have to get rid of him. Yeah. You want to fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Look at him, just looking, staring death in the face and just not even caring. Wow. Righteous! Destroy them! Okay. Time for some exercise, shall we? Look at her running. <sighs> okay. Let's see if we can get Varnell out. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush him for him. Then I'm gonna hex him. I'm gonna run over with Fenris, right? Pummel strike him. Okay. Let's get over there with Isabella. See if we can twin fang him. Ooh, that barely hurt him. Thornell's kind of a beast. Okay, well let's... Take all these guys out. Oh, let's get back on Fenris. Mighty blow. I want to see if Hawk is doing damage to him. Okay, he is. Let's go ahead and blood magic everyone over here. Okay, everyone's blood magic. Let's go ahead and grave rob. Methos favor. I want to do a tar bomb, kind of. I'm gonna take a poison. Buff up our weapons a little bit. Um, let's hit Abilene with a barrier. Okay, he's buffing people. There's more people coming in back here. I'm gonna throw a bomb back here. We got guys over here. There's a lot of people. Um, Fenris, go ahead and take a potion. All right, Hulk group healed. Um, what do we got? Nothing else. Okay, well. Let's get everybody on Varnell for now. Okay, he's like immune to fire. Isabella, going to need you to take a potion. And stamina. Let's see if we can hit Varnell with a backstab. Okay, barely did anything to him. He's a monster. Okay, let's crush him in prison. Okay, he healed. Not good. Um, well, let's go ahead and heal Fenris. Okay, we have an archer back here. I kind of want to take him out. Um, there's fanatics here. Let's blood magic this area. Okay, um, let's get this guy on our side here. Okay, taking some damage. Okay, he was like immune to that. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna get blood magic off and heal. Um,. Taking this guy out. 
Two tanks here might have been a good idea. Okay, there's more people coming in. Varnell still doing his thing. Fenris, go ahead and take a potion, Kenny. Time for a quick drink. Yeah, I hear you, brother. We need to put Vornell down. Okay, he's stunned. Okay, Isabella twin fanged him. This obscure thing is great. Alright, health group healed. We got a regular heal because Fenris is needing one. Oh, uh, barrier Fenris. I hear you, Fenris. I got you, bro. Hang in there. Um, let's see. How's Varnell looking good? <sighs> I have a feeling he's going to heal again, so I kind of want to take these guys out. I don't know if he calls in more people. Oh, Fenris. How did Fenris get one shot? Did he get one shot? Okay. I'm going to go to Isabella and heal so Sen can get Fenris back up. Okay, um, let's take Elf Root, which clears the, uh, Okay, Fenris over here holding these guys off. More people coming in, in the back. We should really work on Varnell because there's more people coming in. Let's throw another bomb over here. Okay, crush and prison him. Hex him. Ooh, something hurt us there. Okay, we still got our life ward. Um, let's get blood magic one. I'm going to grave rob. Um, how's Aveline doing? She's stunned. I really would like a quick heal on Aveline. Ooh, close one. All right, Fenris has taken all these guys out. Okay, we got a stun of Varnell. Uh, I want a Spirit Pulse, actually. I'm gonna go over here and Spirit Pulse. Man, Avalanche's taking some damage again. Um. We can heal her soon. Alright, Fenris. Alright, everyone's hurting pretty bad, man. It's because they're all... They keep stunning. He needs to go down. We need Isabella to take him down. Like, right now. Okay, Varnell still at large. Aveline cannot heal, sadly. So... I'm gonna take a life ward with her. I have no choice. Let's blood magic everyone here. I wonder if I can get healing or all. Okay, I don't have enough. Damn it. No. Let's take restoration. Ooh. And then let's see if I can group heal everyone up. Okay, that might have saved us there. Varnell is not doing too well. Let's get this off. Crush and prison him. And then hex him and it should be done. Um, Fenris has no stamina. Isabella, do you have anything? Alright, Fenris is down. We had no choice. Okay, 
Okay, he's down. Let's chameleon's breath everyone here. Um. Hold on, Hulk says. Hang in there. Hold on. <laughs> Tough fight, right. man. Time to bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. I guess good thing we, uh... Well, it's probably a good thing that we actually, Madness. uh... Repotioned up. That's a word for it. Madness! Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements. Oh, it could not be worse. Sure it could. You could suddenly realize you're completely naked or something. <laughs> <laughs> Way to lighten up the mood, Isabella. You killed them. All of them. A mother serving the Grand Cleric allowed this to happen. Are you quite sure? She held a blade with them? Told I mean, them no, to fight but... you? No, I cannot say that. No, of course not. Blasted mother. You have no idea the storm these allegations would cause. It would destroy what support I do have. I have had trouble with her before. She is... slippery. Yeah. I understand. That's one way of putting it. I will make my inquiries. Gently. And you should be careful in your associations. For now, we have other problems. We have the delegate, but I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk, you know the Arishok. What should I do? <sighs> Burn them to hide the torture. Don't hide it, he'll know. I've been stating this the whole time, man. This guy knows everything. He is probably sitting there watching. You know what I mean? He was probably following us the whole time, or had people follow us. Just to see what the hell would happen. Hiding this would only make it worse. Yeah, we'll make it worse. And we'll be it implemented would, if we it? hide it. I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. We're not implemented right now. It's kind of the challenge. I appreciate but... your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Damn right, buddy. Kirkwall owes you. I owe you. Okay, all that remains is next. Okay. There appears to be a small combination at the Hawk Estate. Find out what's causing it. Tensions between the Kunari and the Quirkwell Citizenry continue to rise, fueled by that. Okay. We will not do all that remains. We will have to do that last. Um, regardless, honestly, once we go back to our estate, we're going to trigger that quest anyway. So we're going to have to stay away from our estate for a bit, at least until we finish, uh, uh, let's just finish Meryl's quest. We should be fine to actually do. I believe all that remains is pretty much the last quest in the act. So we'll go and, uh, finish Meryl's, which will probably take us, if anything, it might even take us to Sundermount. Because that's where that, um, uh, that last herbalist task thing is, Sundermount. So we'll see what happens, but I think that's probably our path in the next episode here what is do we have oh okay we have a gift for a shield of a knight herself companions mirror image okay so Aveline will like that shield okay very cool um all that remains mirror image forbidden knowledge sundermount herbalist task yeah I'm not going to the state yet. Okay, well, I guess we have honestly no other option but to go here and talk to the Aerishock. I kind of want to go back to the Chantry as well and see what happens. Let's put in, since we're going to go to the Chantry, Isabella can't come anyway. Let's put in 
Get Fenris out. Let's put Anders in. Sebastian. What if he have anything to say about if we go to the Chantra and talk to the mother? Enter if you must. So I could not rescue my delegate. We tried, man. But ma you killed those responsible. How do you explain the condition of their bodies? Ugh. The abuse of zealots? I mean... <laughs> this goes hand in hand with just lying to them and burning the bodies, so... I'm not gonna lie to the guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going on our path to, uh... Try to win some kind of stuff over with this guy. Maybe it will ease the tensions. I don't know. We had to find another path. A fanatic used them to incite others of his kind. I accept that. Well, that was easy. Mm. I have seen every vice and weakness of your kind, and how few of you take responsibility. Your Viscount remains a fool, but you are not. Panahedan, Hawk. Panahedan. I will keep one good Brilliant. thought about your kind. See? A worthy rival. I don't really know what that is, that achievement is. I think Go Hawk. I no. think you have to win the respect of the Arishak. You get some pretty awesome if I'm not mistaken, I I put, took many passes with the Arishak I have. Um But to me and the character that we're playing here, I feel like it's just best to just tell him the truth, fuck it. You know what I mean? It's just this is honestly no point at this at this point to even lie to the man. He knows everything. I mean that's blatantly obvious. Um now, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the achievement for him to, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it's really good dialogue towards the end of the act between us and him. I, I can't fully Miss remember. Ooh. Hey, you. Sarah Hawk, it is good to see you. The shame that Varnell brought his order is most unfortunate. What a dumb. The shame he brought. Get him, Sebastian. Praise the Maker. Show her who's boss there, buddy. you were his champion in that dark place. Look, we're both adults here. Can we drop the pretense? <laughs> I think you'll find that I have said nothing threatening or untruthful. You and your careful language. I gave you what you wanted at considerable cost. Vonell is more manageable as a martyr, but his loss will be felt. You have avenged Whatever. heretical Kunari with human blood. Surely that is good enough for you. <sighs> this lady, man. It might be, if you were going to give this up. But you're not. <laughs> Varnell was a fool, but the facts remain. An offense to the Maker goes unchallenged. I will give you no further cause to shame the Chantry today, but we will have this argument again. The Viscount's incompetence all but guarantees it. Goodness, lady. She just don't give up. Sometimes you just know trouble is coming. Yeah, Anders. That's what the hell I'm talking about, bub. Whoa, where are we going? Let's go over here and talk to Elathena once more. And I kind of want to go to the Viscount's office and see if there's even any... Is something troubling What's up, you? girl? Goodbye. Walk Doodles. in the maker's light. See ya. Um, alright, let's go to Viscount. Let's see if he or Bran has anything. I feel like... I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we had to turn something in, but... For its lost prince, Sebastian. Doesn't look like we are turning something in. Would you give up if the city has moved on? Like Ferelden moved on after Caelan. You've been reading. It's a good tale. King Alistair is particularly inspiring. Damn right he is. I doubt that's how you see me. I don't intend to let anyone die restoring me to my place, Aveline. The risks are mine. And that will have to satisfy. I thought you were giving it up. As well said. I give you that. We'll see. I thought he said he's given up Starkhaven. To stay in the Chantry. Who knows with Sebastian anymore? I like, like Sebastian. I think his voice actor is just brilliant. And I feel like the way he talks is just... I don't know. I really enjoy him. But sometimes... It's like they take a turn with his character, man. Or, or maybe that's just how he is. He's one of them people... What are them people called where... Like, like he's so indecisive. One moment he, like, loves something. The next moment he's hating it. 
You know what I mean? It's like he changes his mind on the snap of a finger. It's honestly good writing, man. If you ask me, I mean, like, when characters can make you like them and hate them, that's pretty good, I think. I mean, they're all, all the characters are fucking brilliant. Let's just say that. Even Bram a here. True disaster. There is no pleasing okay, so Bram can't say nothing to him. Let's see if we got anything to do more. No. Okay, guys, it has been a wonderful episode. I am happy as hell we are moving along. Um, let's take once more to, uh, oh, hold on, let's talk to Seamus. There's been no change. None. More yeah. Kunari dead for no reason other than hate. I guess. It's going to take more to change people. Something big. Something soon. I guess so. Okay, journal. Um, uh, we can give something to Aveline. I guess let's just, let's let's give Aveline her gift while we are here and then we'll end the episode there. Um It's different here, yeah. Captain. Feels like family. Unrest at our house, which is, if I can remember correctly, that quest is going to be a good one. I have something for you. But I also think that's Do the last know? quest of the act. A shield? Oh, and born by the one true Sir Aveline. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah. See, this is why I never get you anything. I had a shield. It belonged to Wesley. It was difficult to let it go, but I did so. Utility over sentiment, right? Mm. We sold it, didn't we? It wasn't my fault. I thought I was being nice. Everybody put if me up to it. If you didn't think this would upset me, <laughs> what was your intent? I mean, it's a shield, Aveline. It's, it's better. I mean, I don't want you dying on me now. You got like a pizza box for a shield, for God's sakes. It's not enough to want you to be happy. Happy is for fools. Okay. It's not the shield, is it? No, and it's not Wesley. You've got me doing a lot of things. Some I don't agree with. Some I'm surprised I do. I'm not sure where I'm going as it is. Replacing what I was with this. I mean, who is Sarah Aveline to me? <sighs> it seems odd you don't feel a kinship. <laughs> you don't feel <laughs> she the really doesn't want this you. damn shield. I didn't choose my name. Aveline was a wish my father made. I am similar to what he pictured, but that's because of what I try to be, not what I assume I should. Sir Aveline was a fine figure, but I don't revere failure, however glorious. Um, it's just a gift for a friend, I thought Aveline. of you when I found it. Maybe that was foolish. I can appreciate that. Then accept it on those merits. Nothing more. It is a fine shield. Hell yeah, you can bash you some skulls in with it. You do know that Orlesian Smith slapped Sir Aveline's name on every second piece of armor. This didn't really belong to her. It does now. Oh. Okay, Aveline. Bash people's skulls in with that pretty cool... Oh, it's like an elven shield. Awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm done talking, and I'm going to end the episode on that note. Let's look at the journal. Okay, all that remains is the last one. Okay, the man's of the Kuhn. Tensions between the Kunari and the Kirkwall citizens continue to fueled by overzealous elements of the Chantry. The Viscount hopes to matter, but there is still clear cause of concern. Okay, so there's nothing else on that. I can't remember. Next episode, we'll do Mirror's Image. After that, um, we'll be able to turn Herbalist Tass in. And then, I believe the last thing before we end the uh, act, we'll probably do this. Because if I'm not mistaken, this is a pretty, pretty hard stuff. I'm going to have to stock up on more potions, I think. Maybe. I don't know. And premium content, I feel like... Hmm. I know for sure I do Mark of the Assassin literally before endgame. Complete endgame. Like, the last thing I do is Mark of the Assassin, and then I do the Act Act 3's version of All That Remains. All That Remains is pretty much the end game here for Act 2. I believe I do that right before the end of it all. And Mementos of the Past, which is the other one. I can't remember the damn name of that DLC. I do that one in Act 3 after... Pretty much in the beginning of Act 3, I think. I might do... I think I do companion stuff in Act 3, and then I do this. I don't really know. I don't know if there's an order. There's probably no orders for any of this stuff. You can all do it in the beginning if you like.
But anyways, I'm done talking. Next time we come back, we'll deal with Meryl's stuff. Um, it's been a pleasure, as always. I hope you all have a wonderful night for an evening out there. <laughs> Take it easy, my friends. See you next time.